It'll definitely be easier than the last one I did. The last one? Yeah. Really? That thing is a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's like some probably weather alert. Yeah, probably some severe weather. sitting on this piling over here. Yeah, so he showed me pictures yesterday yep. when he first got the call, the boat was leaning towards the dock like this. Tie off the boat. Put some heavier duty line on this side just to keep it from rolling back over. Once we start leveling up the boat, I don't trust these lines are gonna. The uh, lines that he's already got on here, I don't trust that those are gonna hold. So put some heavy duty lines. I know these will. These are the lines. We use in my boat for hip towing, so I know those are solid. I think we're probably going to need two come-alongs, probably one on the stern and maybe one in midship. But we'll see.
toss you this bow line to tie up somewhere over there. You just tie it loosely. Good? Yeah, that's good there. Can you loosen up that bell a little bit more? Yeah, somewhere around there. You just tie it loosely. Yeah, that's good. Maybe this one reach. Can you reach it. Right, toss it again. Here we go. I pull forward. I try to keep my stern about where his stern is. About there. You just loop it through the uh, loop you've got on the piling. The loop you've got to go around the oh, pile. We go right here. I need to pull forward. So you've got the loop around the piling. You just stick it through that loop. Right here. Yeah. Because once I get pressure on, it'll be fine. Okay. This is gonna suck.
down somewhere. How's that water temperature there, Ken? Cooler than I'd like.
Sim. Something out. What? Only if I would have known. Maybe I'll get you a second Christmas present, Ken. Which part? Huh? The life jacket? No. No, I got a perfect gift for you. It's coming. With or without, what's your birthday? Uh, it's October 19th. Well, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you a present just to get you a present. Want to know what it is? Sure. I'm buying you a wetsuit on me. All right. Okay. Let's see. Oh, check. Sure. Here, I'm gonna go get that Suzuki plug. I got one in my bag. Okay. I got a hose. Well, there's one in there. There's one on the... No, well, we only got... We don't have one for the drain plug. Oh, you switched them. Yeah, I oh, okay. switched it out. Yeah, if you want to get that, because I'll be ready for the pump in a minute. Stop 
recording. Recording in. Okay. That's that's not solid. So we're gonna go off here. Go all the way down to that D-ring. We gotta get this stern up a bit. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. I don't know if you guys saw the last salvage I did, the beach cap. That thing is pain in the ass. It's basically a pontoon boat with the uh, hull. It's got kind of pontoons for part of it, but the aft end of the hull is like a uh, deck boat kind of design. And it's got a flat deck like a pontoon boat. So it's got no freeboard. Basically I had to get the entire boat out of the water before I could, or I was pumping before I got the whole boat out, but the pump wasn't doing anything until I got the entire boat out of the water. That one's really tough. Definitely one of those that would have been easier if we had bags instead of come along. This one the stops kind of well. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get enough out of it. Yeah. This come along's not gonna work to slow down. I have to get this higher up somehow. that they have a seal that goes on to here, but that's the only seal I had in my car. So it goes... Like that. Is that how the other one is on the boat? There yeah. There wasn't one for up here, Ken? Nope. Yeah, it's basically, it goes in and seals against the uh, opening in there. Okay. But that'll work. How strong do you think that palm tree is? Well, is it dock that? Yeah. It's too low. It's too low? Yeah. Yeah, we don't need much, so and we'll just go off the palm tree. Well, I mean, yeah, it looks like they just that it's newly planted. That one's been there for a while. It's not going to take much force on there. We'll just go down at the base. And those threads by themselves will be it should be enough to seal it. You shouldn't actually need that seal.
says really unfortunate placement. Huh? It says really unfortunate placement. Right where the dock's sitting is right on that lever. Howdy. Hey, how you doing? All right, how you doing? Mrs. Good. Mrs. Bob. Hey, Bob. Yeah, Bob Benz. Hey, Okay, sorry about this. Yeah, well, it's looking better now. <laughs> it's looking better. Yeah. <laughs> You're going in the right direction. Exactly. I know. I was over in my sister's house over in Palm Beach area. And, uh, and somebody said, the guy's working here, somebody took it. No, it's fine, but I left the car. No. Uh, I don't know what happened. stemming from the cold front that we had where About a week we had ago. all kinds of trouble the next day. Yeah, this flood, this whole area, was right? it was almost as big a surge as it was. Yeah, yeah. It was almost so much right? Pump all set. I mean, you don't mind if we borrow your guard hose, right? Oh, of course not. No, do whatever you need. We gotta get pressure off it first. Right here. Yep. Yeah, it's pulling it back in towards the dock, so I need to pull it that way a little bit.
crank a little bit more on the come along. Pull it out. Come along when I pull it out. Keep going. Keep going, gotta get the back up more. I wonder if it was the rain that started putting water in there first. Yeah. No, because it didn't rain really since, like I say, Friday was fine when I left, or Saturday. When did I leave Saturday? I mean, because Sunday and Monday it poured here. Did it? Yeah. And that might have brought it down. In the yeah, but the, 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 that was on when I left. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that, I mean, they were off when I got here. That's our, they're screwed, right? They should be. So I don't know why. Uh... And they're sitting in the boat here. Coming into the scuppers.
Down in the water in this boat. but we're still probably got another six inches it's got to come up at least Thing. It was more than keeping up with it, but it's just going to take a while with all that water. Still coming. I got a pack of those coming too. I think that line tied underneath the back. by yourself? Oh yeah. Honestly? Well, which one? The last one I just did? Yeah. Yeah. The last, I know, it was at night so the video didn't come out great, but it, but if you watch, was it harder? That, I had to lift the entire boat out of the water. This has free board. So once, I mean, look at the back. I've got this much that's above the water that I can get out. The other boat, I have to lift the entire deck out of the water. Really? Yeah. Can we throw one of those electric boats up there? I don't think it's going to fit back there. The problem with those, you kind of need a whole big opening. Are we high and dry? No. I'm, you want to slow that down more? I can put it up front. Push it away from you. Yeah. That's as slow as it'll go. Okay. Might need to loosen it. I need a little bit more. Mike, you're gonna have to untie it.
You can slow it down, but keep it running.
enough water in here to pump out. That's not a bad idea. I think we're good. Good enough. There's still water in there, but it's not moving anywhere. I can't even pump the front out with the uh, pump. Hey, I want to say, I want to say, Really good job, Ken. Thank you. Told you'd be easy. That's your problem. The boys live in Sarasota. Those are pop-in fittings. They don't screw in the deck hatches. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, so they just, just popped pop out. Up. I'll grab those other two plugs tonight. I... Yeah. Them this morning. Yeah, if you want to just give them a heads up that I'll be there. You be there within an hour. Yeah, probably 45 minutes. that we went to, it was my favorite island, and there was this church there. Uh, there was a church on there, and not much else besides the church. Um, it wasn't. Well, they had a pier, there, there was a church there, there was a church, a huge grass here, and there was a pier running around. Stewart or Stewart had a coast on station too. Um, and Friday Harbor is the one that's got that airport strip, right? There's an airport in Friday Harbor. Yeah. Yeah. Friday Harbor is very. I don't know what happened to this camera, but for some reason it wasn't recording much. So I don't know if we got anything out of it.
Perfect. Hi, Ken. I'm going to head out. Yeah. Just a little, big <laughs> Thank little you. Lunch. Nice, right, nice, hey, to nice, meet you, nice meeting yeah. you. Pleasure meeting you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You ever go up there anymore? You know what? No, no. I did two trips up there. I was going to say, I'll give you my card. Yeah, no, I wish. Uh, yeah, no, I wish they uh, Too busy with this. Uh, yeah, this is my, it's by far yeah, my favorite cool, vacation. Cool. Then I did Alaska last year because I didn't try to like, went on a, went a cruise. I've never been to Alaska. That was, that was great. All right, hey, Ken, have a safe trip up there and uh, good job. Thank you. Thank you. All right, have a nice day. We will right, you, talk to you later. Do you want to go? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I think I'm all set. I seem to get tied up. Okay. Perfect. <clears throat> hey, if you're ready, you can go ahead and untie those lines. Was it a silver handled brush with blue handles? Yeah. It's floating down the end there. <laughs> I, you see it up there? Yeah. <laughs> 